So we're about to go um, live again. So I'd just like to introduce you to um, Louise Allen. Um, Louise owns a company called Rhythm of Beauty. She's got over 20 years experience and a very much of a holistic appearance, bringing different modalities together. And what she's going to lead us through is a really beautiful facial um, using, using a jade crystal and gua sha. Hopefully by now you've got your facial oil already. Let me just stop sharing this. There we go. Um, and I know what, one of the things we were talking about yesterday, which you'll probably touch on, is, is the idea of having different um, products actually for different seasons, which is not something that you ever really hear anyone saying, is it, Louise? No, well, my background, um, I used to teach for Environ Skincare, which was a bioplastic surgeon for skin cancer. I've also done all, you know, the holistic modalities. And as a nutritionalist, um, or to, cut, to go back, Environ started putting parabens in their skincare. Wow. So I had a clinic for eight years and it, it really um, was not in my ethos to use parabens, uh, et cetera. So that's where the products came from. I have no plan to make skincare in my life. You know, it's just, um, I did psychology degree and I was out there really counseling and healing, but that sort of led me to make my own products and then clients came back. And then as a nutritionist, I sort of, joined the dots and could see that the seasonal um, changes affected me as a woman and I try to eat in season so why not incorporate that into our skin which is the, the largest organ of our body and I've incorpor incorporated that with Chinese medicine so the skin is our third lung in Chinese mm -hmm. medicine as you know so all the products I use um, or I create are a reflection of the seasons so they are the language of mother earth in a bottle. So they, there are four flower essences that I make here in my garden, mm. I teach flower essence practitioners as well. And I also teach rhythm of beauty. So the products change to reflect our moods, our energy, and they harness the seasons. And we create rituals with those products, which are all organic, handmade. So they're not in a huge chain in a factory and they've got very high vibrational, flowers, botanicals and oils. And um, the women that are coached by me say it's life changing because you are living in an ebb and flow with Mother Earth rather than just grabbing a product you know, and not, not um, having a ritual with yourself. So it's a self-love, it's a divine feminine path really that we're on, but the men use them as well because the feminine is in the men as well. It's all about self-care, self-love. So today, I just, I know we haven't got much time, so I want to just say to everyone to bring an oil. We, we always use a cleansing oil because an oil has a, a really beautiful affinity with the skin. And our cleansing oil is just olive oil and castor oil, the botanicals, and it's just an old gypsy recipe that uh, I've created. It's a deeply cleansing oil, and I haven't brought it up, but it's teamed with our organic eco cloth. So when you're cleansing with this oil, you just need a few pumps and you create a massage and it has an affinity with the skin and the sebum. So even if you're oily, usually when you're oily, the skin's confused, you're actually deeply dehydrated. So this, the oil is re-educating the skin to combat the dehydration and then eventually you will find that the inflammation and the acne disappear. So this is a ancient method it's nothing new it's just called the oil cleansing method and this is what I'll be using today so if you have an oil and you have a gua sha or just any crystal we use jade in spring because jade is naturally harmonizing if you look out into nature everything is green green is the color of spring which is all about purification and uh, detoxification so this is a detoxing facial the products that are um, imbued in spring are all about to purify and renew the skin so the spring collection um, is neroli green mandarin which takes down redness or um, any anger because 
it's the liver here that we're working with in spring that holds any uh, anger, frustrations, any area here, even when we're bleeding as women, this can reflect here in the liver. Um, so the products are very detoxifying. So the gua sha is the jade that we use in spring. We use the rose quartz in summer. And we use the copper, copper cancer wand, which we, I teach in autumn. And then I have a lapis lazuli blue gua sha or roller for winter, which all corresponds to the Chinese medicine meridians and the colors. So if you have an aura spray or a toner or a spray at hand, just spray your area. So that's including your aura and your skin. And this is how we start off our day as we rise with Rhythm of Beauty. So you're just cleansing your aura and just letting the notes of neroli, green mandarin, cherry plum, and bluebell just be absorbed. And then we take a few pumps of the oil. So just massage this gently into your hands and then just pat gently onto your face. You just need to have a little bit of glide when you're using the crystal on the skin so you don't drag it. So the key areas for spring we're looking at is here the liver, because it's the liver that's in power in spring. The gallbladder is here, and runs up into here. So we're going to start with the gua sha, or just if you've got a little crystal, it's fine, or a roller. And you're just going to pull your hair out the way and hold your skin tight, start at the jaw, and we work where you will feel, I can feel, you know, little crystals and tension. And as you glide, you're just gently detoxing, boosting the circulation, and you will work till you get an erythema, a pink glow to the skin, which is reoxygenating the facial tissues, the dermis, the epidermis. And the lighter you go, if you want to do lymphatic drainage, if you're feeling, um, you know, you've got edema or puffiness, you need to drain with a lighter rhythm. And when we work, you know, with rhythm, we to be visualized the green ray, which is working in harmony with the liver, the detoxification organ. And you can just bring this up to the liver where we can naturally have furrows or acne or spots or just impurities. And you just work the liver. But the corrugator muscle here is a little fan. And as we age, it shortens. So you can work just fanning hard to do without a mirror but you can just work with it fanning and lengthening this muscle on either side and then go back to the other side and repeat oh, try to hold the face taut and you can work right up under the eyes as close as you can to aid drainage. This is working in the kidney area, which is corresponding to winter, um, the water element. And if you've got any tension up in here, it's your bladder meridian, which is again, water, winter. And you can just use the point of the gua sha just to really manipul manipulate this area and break it down. and then always drain out. And then drain down into the deep cervical nodes. And by now you should be feeling a real an energy coming to the face, feeling a radiance building and a glow. So you will have a little pink glow after this. You don't need to work so it hurts, it just needs to always feel comfortable. 
And just to drain and just follow your intuition, working on the areas that you feel that, you know, the face holds our worries, our tension, and it is the mirror to the world. The skin is a mirror of our health. So just take the wand now and just work where you need to work. So the liver, stroke up. So liver is corresponded to imbalances. If you have headaches, um, your blurry eyes, migraines, tight, rigid neck going into the shoulders. The emotional imbalances of liver is, um, could be showing up now with you know, the narrative that's going on. You could be feeling overwhelmed even more this spring and frustrated. So these are the emotions we hold in the liver. So by working with the liver and showing, taking our energy to the liver, it can help ease out those emotions. And when we are in balance with the wood element, which is in power now with spring, we have um, the potential for growth and new beginnings and rebirth in our lives. So it's all the products, it, it's a whole ethos for emotional, mental, spiritual, and um, physical well-being. So when you've finished um, doing your key area, we always go back to the beginning and start again, just draining. These here correspond to digestion. So if you've got any digestive issues, in spring we should be encouraging our clients to purify and detox. Don't really encourage it any time of the year anywhere else. It's because the liver is in charge now. It's a natural time that our body wants to purge after winter. And this could be mirrored in your skin and your digestion, liver, kidney area. These are all areas of purification, transformation, detox in the body. Take to the other side. And you can incorporate this into your morning ritual, but if that's, if you've got a busy morning, then just take it to your evening ritual, use the cleansing oil to, to um, remove the debris of the day. Um, it will lift off the debris of the day, the makeup and any toxins, any pollution. So wash off first the oil with, with the makeup and the debris of the day, then reapply your oil and then do your gua sha massage. And as I said, jade is very harmonizing crystal, brings balance to the system. It's purifying. And one of our Rhythm of Beauty coaches, Face of Nature, she actually sells these on her, on her online shop through each season. And then take down and drain down. So it was really good for any neck tension. The sternocleidomastoid muscle, muscle holds our head up. So we hold a lot of tension here. So it's a really good area to work and break down the tension, especially if you're sat at a desk most days or doing a lot of driving. And then you can finish by going up. And then you would take across down into the armpits and then repeat six times to the other side. So if your face is feeling a little bit oily, if it's not absorbed, you can just, if you've got a tissue or anything nearby, just pat off any excess oil, but usually it's, it's um, worked into the skin with the gua sha. And um, our, in our Rhythm of Beauty facial, we would now do the polish. Um, we would polish off the, you know, the, um, the dead skin cells. So the products really penetrate deeper. So that was a deep cleanse, cleansing ritual. We would then polish with our cacao and um, our loofah flakes. 
if you have a cream nearby, just pop on a little bit of cream. And you can just take this onto your ring fingers and just pat around your eyes onto the liver, tapping the liver with topotement. Tap into the gallbladder. So the, gall, the gallbladder holds our, the gall, our frustrations in life, any bitterness in life. So as you're working, just imagining these vanishing away. <laughs> And then just take down and awaken the skin with these tapping to potent movements. And then you can just spray again, just to rehydrate the skin clear the aura and ideally I didn't want to put you through the green goddess mask but we, we would uh, we would use the green goddess mask mixed with the aura spray we always activate our masks so they're fresh to use rather than just being dead in a bottle so we activate these with um cleansing oil or aura spray and this is 100 percent organic green clay and you would just apply this to the decollete up the neck and up through the face and leave this as you're sat in the bath or doing your housework or doing your emails and let the magic work and detox as it remineralizes your skin. But as it's working to hydrate the skin, the mask also decimates the skin as well, which is a skin brightener. So I think that's my time up. I've got one minute over. So I hope that was a little mini purification ritual that you, you've enjoyed and maybe you've learned something new about seasonal skincare as well that it's you know it's very advantageous to change with the seasons and as particularly as women because we're we, we flow with the moon anyway so it's another tool to your wellness regime. Wonderful thank you Louise. Um, you mentioned a place if somebody wants one of those Amy on Facebook just was just saying how relaxing that was. Oh good, lovely. Yeah, so I don't know if you're able to, and uh, yeah, Adrian says wonderful, thank you as well. Oh, um, I don't know if you're able to pop that, the, the Face of Nature link in Facebook maybe? Yeah, I can pop that in, yeah, Face of Nature. Yeah. Yes, um, and my products are obviously Rhythm of Beauty. Oh, good, lovely. Yeah. But they, own, the coaches all sell them themselves. So you can always, if you've got a coach near you, just look on our directory and you could have a treatment from them or a seasonal alignment with them or an essence. Wonderful. And I love the idea that you can tie it in with the seasons. It's such a new idea and it's such a holistic approach. I think it's just fine with an awful lot of people. Anyway, Louise, thank you so much. If it goes well, lots of love. Bye bye. You too. Bye, Louise. Bye. 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 Okay, and